I'm uh, Eric Holbo, a senior strategist at ARC Worldwide, and uh, I do urban exploration photography. I think there's something about a building that is just so grand and ornate and beautiful that once it kind of becomes discarded and, and forgotten, the way it kind of falls apart, there's, there's some tragedy there, but there's also some beauty that a lot of people don't necessarily see. I really try to find what the hero shot of a building is, like what is the architectural kind of like centerpiece to you know, really characterize what that building is. It is called urban exploration photography because there is an exploration to it. Sure, these places have been around for a while, but they've been forgotten for a few years. So there's kind of seeing something new for the first time, which is quite a rush. This is uh, the City Methodist Church. Early 1900s it was built. Pretty much for the last 50 years has been abandoned when the congregation kind of left in the early 70s, late 60s. And I love just the, the differences in the scenes. So you get um, you know, something like this, which is like a gothic type of architecture, and you go a couple rooms over and you're kind of in a stage setting, and then you go in a couple rooms over and you're in a school. Like this church, you know, it must have taken hundreds of people, you know, years of their lives to make. I really also love like auto plants or steel plants just because you kind of just see what work life was like. It's just, it's amazing to me to see just the scale of production in which we used to make stuff. Well, I went to grad school at the Institute of Design, and their, um, their master's program is all about strategy and planning uh, with a design slant. And it's really focused on understanding human behavior and, and designing product solution services all around understanding people. And I was trained in a lot of the uh, you know, creative disciplines around design. Not to be an expert in that, but just to kind of understand that world so you can kind of collaborate and work with those types of creatives. Yeah, actually, I now teach that same program. Um, I, almost eight years later, I teach the, uh, the photo program at the Institute of Design. And I think my teammates really do appreciate the, the photographic angle that I can even bring to just doing a briefing, to have like just imagery being that thing that you know, inspires the creative. A lot of the work that I do at Burnett is around just kind of understanding human behavior and, and it, you know, when I was in grad school you were kind of trained in anthropology and doing ethnography as a type of research and it's really about like understanding people and what their needs and motivations are and being able to be empathetic for that has uh, made me, I think, successful in, in my job. And, when I go into photography um, and I'm going to these lost places, um, you know, there's a little bit of anthropology in seeing what these places were like at one time. You know, when you see an empty factory, you can't help but like project what the life must have been life like working in those places. It's a big part of my work, which is just kind of like understanding where people are in all this. 